Hey, welcome back to your channel. Hope y'all doing well. And today we're going to be cleaning and greasing our chain for the Raptor 700R. It definitely something I've been meaning to do for a while. Okay, so we're going to start by jacking up the four wheeler so that way it'd be easier for us to just basically just rotate the tires and just move the chain like that. A lot of people like to just crank it up, put it in gear and let it roll, but I'm going to really take my time. And plus, like I said, with these brushes and bristles and stuff, I don't want this right here to get caught in the chain or anything like that. So doing this way, you got more control. Anything go down, you can just kind of like, you know, not roll it. So, And what I'm going to use to actually clean it is this stuff right here. Got it from Amazon. I think about 15 bucks. Chain clean. I'm going to spray it on there. Let it sit for maybe five minutes. Let it get all in there. Then I'm going to come with the brush later. Scrub it and go from there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just start from the, uh, yeah, start from the top and just slowly roll. And not too much on there. I really don't wanna make too much of a mess. You just slowly do it until I go all the way around. So yeah, as you can see, that stuff right there on impact is pretty much blasting that stuff away. So it be some high quality stuff. So what I'm gonna do now is go on the inside of it and just go, you know, same thing, just, you know, on the inside. Okay, so now we're gonna come with our brush and pretty much do the same thing, but now we're just gonna do the brush. So what I like to do is just do it like that. A lot of people just like, you know, like to either roll it like that or they, you know, put it in gear and have it, you know, spinning. But like I said, you wanna have more control. I don't want this right to slide off in there. I don't want to get my finger caught. This right here probably like the most safest way to do it. So what I'm doing right now is just going back and forth like that right there. Like that right there. And you want to do it right there pretty much all the way around. Okay, so after I got done using the brush, I want to come back with this stuff right here. And this right here really is just something I'm doing just to get that shine back. We're gonna spray one good coat. Yeah, I ain't spraying that much on there. Just enough to get shine. And as you can see right there, that's looking a whole lot better. So what I'm gonna do now is just wait for it to dry. Then I'm gonna add the lube on there. And um, we're gonna go from there. Okay, so I'm a little bit impatient. So what I'm gonna do is get like some paper towels. Put it right here and kind of just, oh, see, I mean, you gotta be careful. And kind of go like that, and please be careful with this spark right here. I don't want your hand to get right there. So, you wanna come up to, toward the chain guide up there and just do it like that. And once it looks like that right there, you see, big old mosquito. Got it. But, um, you see, it look like that right there to get one more. Well, you gotta probably, you know, Depending on your situation. And just keep on doing it. And like I said, this right here definitely cleaning. All that right there. The brush really just breaks it up. That cleaner kind of breaks it up too. And you can come with like a little towel and just go through. Just go through like it right there. See, that's number two. And one more. Probably going to be the same thing, but you're gonna keep on doing like that right there. And that right there is number three. That right there could be a thumbnail. But you can see that definitely, definitely a lot better. So now what we're gonna do, still gonna let it sit and dry for a little bit longer. But we're gonna come with the lube. This is what I'm using, chain lube. Luke is pretty, they made pretty good um, product I know. A lot of people use it for their transmission when it's slipping. So fix, they, they make stuff for transmission that, you know, supposedly good. They definitely can make some good chain, some chain lube. So let it dry, gonna come back later. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four. And that how many times we wiped it, pretty much every last one on looked like this right here. So yeah, that is four years of not cleaning my chain. That what it looked like, so. Yep, definitely should have did it a while ago. Ain't something I'm proud of, but 
Yeah, what it is. So now what we're gonna do, and by the way, when I'm twisting the wheel, I'm hearing that sound right there. Yeah, I'm not sure, it's some, definitely something right there. Someone can let me know what that is. Maybe it's some brake cleaner, I don't know. But what we're gonna do now is start to add our lube. So what I'm gonna do is go on the inside cause I want to kind of get these right here to spark it, to get them lubricated. So I'm gonna start on the inside and just, oh shoot, do like it right now. So we did all the way around the inside, so now I'm gonna come around the top and just do pretty much the same thing. Okay, so we just installed our new chain grab. Ugh, not chain grab. Chain guide right there. And it's a little dirty too, so what I'm gonna do to get this paper towel right there and wipe it off too. Now we have a new, you're gonna have a new chain. Well, at least it looked new. And it does look pretty good. Now we have that right there shine too. Okay, so yep, that's pretty much all it is to it. We put the um, lube on there. I'm gonna let it sit on there for about, well, let it sit there overnight. Cause you, I mean, you don't wanna put it on there and then you start around and basically gonna sling it all off. You wanna give it time to really just get in there and really sit. So, yep, like I said, it definitely looked good. And um, yeah, if y'all enjoyed the video, I really appreciate it. Thumbs up, subscribe, and um, yeah. Join the um the community. I love to have y'all on board. We do a lot of four wheeler content, a lot of um, trucks, stuff like that right there. So yeah, gotta take it easy. <laughs>